Bradley Beal has been traded to the Phoenix Suns. Guys, I can't even believe that I'm saying that. I mean, rumors have been going on for weeks at this point, and years if you think about it, but he's finally been traded. He's been traded for Chris Paul, Landry Shamit, and multiple second round picks, which is not a lot at all for the Suns to give up for someone at Beal's caliber. This trade instantly makes the Suns championship contenders again, which is kind of crazy because they didn't even give up that much. I mean, they basically just gave up Landry Shamit because they were going to waive Chris Paul anyways. I'm going to be breaking down the full details of this trade and, I mean, how, how this trade will play out for both teams involved. And, as it was said in the title and thumbnail, I'm also going to be grading this trade for both teams. Alright, so first I'm going to break down the Sun side of this situation. Guys, Bradley Beal has been a pretty good player throughout his career. I mean, this season he averaged 23 points on 50-36 shooting splits, along with 5 assists, 4 rebounds, and 1 steal. But he's always been the first option. So, going to the Suns, where he doesn't have to be the first option, that's KD. He doesn't have to be the second option, that's Booker. But he can be the third option, he can play make and shoot. I mean, guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. The The payroll for the Suns might be absolutely insane now, but it's worth it because they if they can sign some people on a vet, veteran minimum they or even make a few trades around their Malcolm Brogdon rumors, the Suns can really be the main championship contender and we can possibly see a 2017-18 Warriors situation. Overall, I'm going to give the Suns an A plus for this trade because they really gave up nothing to get so much in return. I mean, a few second round picks, unless it turns into the next Nikola Jokic or something, won't be worth that much at all. They finessed the Wizards. Now, time for the Wizards. I mean, guys, we obviously weren't expecting them to get a lot of value back for Bradley Beal, who has a no trade clause, meaning that he could veto any trade that made the Suns too weak. But at the same time, we were not expecting this little. I mean, I at least expected at least one round, one first round pick, because I mean, a few seconds plus an old Chris Paul and... I don't really know the Wizards move here. They're obviously trying to rebuild, but Chris Paul is old. Unless they can get a top pick with Kaminga and have Chris Paul mentor him, if they could get Scoot, that would be pretty cool. But I don't really know what the Wizards are going for. So I'm going to give them a C- minus right now because maybe they have a vision. I don't see that vision at all. So it, it's just a tough situation for the Wizards. And the Suns obviously won this. So real quick before the video ends, use code BASKETBALLERS on SeatGeek.com upon checkout to get $20 off your first order and support me as a creator. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.